Hey guys, TechEKHT here again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom ringtones for your iPhone. Now basically what this means is that you're going to be able to use any song to create uh, a ringtone for your iPhone which comes in a .m4r file and then you can put it into iTunes, sync it with your iPhone and set it as your ringtone. Now I've actually been using this method for a long time ever since I had my iPhone 3GS and I actually get a lot of questions about this daily uh, and so I decided to make you guys this video so I can uh, show you guys how I do this. Now it's actually very simple, it actually involves a website and you and the website is called audico.net uh, which is spelled A-U-D-I-K-O dot net and of course I will link it in the description of this video but of course the link is pretty simple, it's a very short name uh, and it's probably really easy to find. Now what you do when you come over uh, to this website is you can either upload the song that you want to use as your ringtone or enter as a URL. So if you can find the song somewhere on YouTube or the track that you want to use, it doesn't necessarily have to be a song. You can just post uh, or paste its URL under this link here, uh, as you guys can see. But I'm just going to browse a local file. So I'm going to hit upload and here's the song by Ice Cube, which I really like. So I've chosen the song and uh, all I have to do after that is hit open uh, and it's actually going to start uploading the song. Now of course this actually does depend on your internet speed. Uh, so if your upload speed is fast then this is going to upload faster. Unfortunately my upload speed is very very slow. It's under 2 megabits uh, in terms of upload speed uh, per second. So I'm actually going to speed up this part of the video so that you guys don't have to sit through the entire process. guys can see here it says that the upload is of course complete what I'm going to do now is actually turn on the volume on my computer so that the song doesn't start to play because unfortunately as soon as the song starts to play uh, it's actually going to play out loud uh, on your computer or your speakers or whatever uh, and of course I don't want to be caught for copyright because I don't want to infringe on anyone's copyright so it's actually just uploading and creating the waveform so that you guys can actually select the area of the song that you want and this is limited to 30 seconds at the most uh, so you guys will probably see that while I'm selecting the part of the song that I want of course I'm probably gonna speed up that part or just mute the audio because uh, again I don't want to be infringing any copyright um, issues or anything like that so let's move on straight to that part now Now, so after you guys have selected the area of the song that you want to create your ringtone for, of course it is going to process and as you guys can see here, uh, it actually kind of makes, uh, it finds the album art online uh, and it actually makes it for you. Now if you've actually done this before, you do this multiple times, you will actually see, and this is even without having an account, you will see uh, a previous um, ringtone that you may have created. Now I did create this for my mom's iPhone very recently, uh, but here is the song that I actually just used, it's called Gangster Rap Made Me Do It by Ice Cube, uh, so and you can select whether you want it for iPhone or for a regular mobile phone. So I've selected the iPhone tab here, which is why it's a little bit darker blue than this one. It looks like it's been pushed in. Uh, and then all you do is hit download and the song will automatically start to download. You can of course rename it over here. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna save it as uh, Gangster Rap Made Me Do It. Uh, and then just hit save. Now this is obviously a very small file, so as you guys can see, it's already been saved there, uh, and here it is. Now the next part of this actually has to do with your iTunes library and your iPhone. So what you're going to do is open up iTunes, go over to your ringtone section, and then press Command O on your Mac or Control or Shift I think it is uh, on a PC to open up the Add to Library thing. Or you can actually just drag and drop the file into your iTunes library if you so prefer. So as you guys can see it is a .m4r file so all you do is select that and you hit open and it will get added to your iTunes library. Now the next thing you do is just plug your iPhone in and then connect it so that it syncs up and that's what I'm going to do now. All right, guys, so my iPhone here just actually did finish syncing up with my computer. Uh, and as you guys can see, if I open up the settings application here, uh, come over to sounds, uh, and my ringtone, you guys can see, uh, is the song Gangster App Made Me Do It that I actually just did sync on. Now, I've obviously muted it so that you guys can't hear the song because, again, I don't want to infringe on any copyrights. But of course, this is fully working. The song plays, and whenever anyone calls you, uh, this is going to be your ringtone. Uh, now, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really awesome if you guys could 
could leave it a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much much more, please do remember to subscribe because it really does help the channel out and keeps this content going. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.